Number 86, what will be the pH of a buffer solution prepared from 0.20 moles of NH3, 0.40 moles of NH4NO3, and just enough water to give 1.00 liters of a solution? Okie dokie. So a couple of things here. They're asking for the pH of a buffer, right? And anytime that we see the word buffer, especially if they're asking for a pH value, we are thinking of a simple formula. It's called their Henderson Hasselbach formula, which is this one right here. Now, this one is pretty easy to use because this formula is only used for buffers and it's asking for pH. So it kind of makes everything easy. So basically, Henderson Hasselbach is pH equals the pKa plus the log, which is on the calculator, of the base concentration divided by the acid. So in this formula, we're looking for the pH. So that I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a question mark here. But I need to know the other three components. I need to know the pKa of the system, the amount of the base, and the amount of the acid. Now, keep in mind that buffers are always conjugate. Uh, it's a conjugate solution. And the key is that they both have to be weak. So I have to have a weak base and a weak conjugate acid. So in this case, they told us that I had NH3, and then I have NH4NO3. Now, this one is clearly one part of the buffer system. And if I look in my other component, NH4NO3, which one do I care about? Remember, conjugates are only different by one hydrogen. So... Do I care about the NH4 component of NH4NO3, or do I compare, you know, uh, care about the NO3 part? Yeah, I only care about the NH4 part because that is only one hydrogen away from NH3. So in this case, I don't even care about that it's NO3. Now, since we have NH3 and three hydrogens versus four, this has to be the base which means that the NH4 is the acid. So the base is the value for the NH3 and the acid number is for the NH4. Now they did say that we had 0 0.20 moles and maybe what I'll do is I'll just kinda bring this over a little bit. So I have 0 0.20 moles of the NH3 and then I have 0 0.40 moles of the NH4NO3. Now keep in mind that since you only had one NH4 out of the whole compound here, this number is still the same because it's a one-to-one -one mole ratio. So the number for the top, the base number, since NH3 is the base, that would be 0 0.20. And the number for the bottom one, is 0 0.40. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute, Christina, I can't use this because these are in moles and they are not in molarity. Well, here's the thing, guys. Here's a little trick. Henderson Hasselbach, for these, you are allowed to use molarity and mole values. The idea here is that you can't use grams, but moles are allowed and molarity. Since they gave me an allowed unit, I'm not going to convert it to molarity because it's just an extra step that, honestly, you don't need it. Now, let's find out that pKa. Now, this comes from the buffer that you have. Now, you would have to get this number in the back of a textbook or on a table of some sort, or maybe your teacher, you know, a professor is, you know, really strict and they want you to memorize these values. But I went in the back and I found that for ammonia, which is NH3, they give you the Kb value. But if we're using Henderson Hasselbach, we need those A uh, values. We need the acid, oh, you know, the acid numbers instead. But if they give me a KB value, I could always use this formula to go from a KB to a KA. So I'm just going to pull this out because that's the first thing that we got to do. We have to take this KB value, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth and find the Ka value, right? 
Now, if I want to solve for Ka, all I have to do is just divide by the Kb. So maybe instead, I will just simplify that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, move this over here. And then I got to divide on both sides. So let's just do the division. Actually, we don't need the division on the other side. I'm going to bring my Kb value down here. And now this all equals Ka. Now I will say, okay, we know that the Kb value is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And remember, Kw is that standard number, right? That's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So I can use those values to solve for Ka. So let's do it. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth we get a Ka value of, calculate out, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Since this is not the correct answer, I'm going to cut it off after a few decimals. So 5 point, we'll say 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay. But if we're using Henderson-Hasselbach, we need the pKa. But remember, you could always get a pKa value by just doing the negative log of the Ka. So maybe I'll take this, this guy up. Maybe I'll do it over here now. And we can basically kind of, maybe what I can do is I can, there we go, just so that it's not a lot of room. Okay. So pKa equals negative log of the Ka. So if I want to solve for that pKa value, all I have to do is take the negative log of the Ka value that we just found, 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10th. And the pKa value is negative log 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10th. This is still not the answer, so I'm going to maybe give it a couple of decimals. By, uh, 9, 9.255, we'll say. And that's now the number that's going over here, 9.255. So now we have all the numbers. We have the pKa, we have the amount of the base, the amount of the acid, and we can find the pH. So pH equals the 9.255 plus the log of moles are acceptable. So it's just the base 0 0.20 divided by the acid 0 0.40. And you can plug this all into the calculator at once. Or if you want, just perform the log first and then add it to this number. I'm just gonna do it all at once. And we should get a pH value. So log 0.2 divided by 0.4 plus 9.255. And now we need the correct sig figs. pH is a little different because the lowest number of sig figs is actually how many you need after the decimal. So I need two sig figs after the decimal. So it would be 8.95. Yep, 8.95. And that, my friends, is the pH. And it's basic. It's above 7. So the pH of this buffer would be a little basic. It's above 7, so it's basic. All right? But nonetheless, it's 8.95. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.